unique with us individually as we um, as we continue on in ministry, uh, in our own individual ministries. That's why it's those of us that are connected to God, we have to constantly be refueled, mm -hmm. regrouped, mm -hmm. re-established, mm -hmm. renewed, mm -hmm. rededicate ourselves constantly. Mm -hmm. yes. Because the enemy is trying to find out what really makes a real saint hold on? Yeah. And what is it that make you keep coming to church when you don't feel like it? Wow. What is it that make you keep coming to choir rehearsal? What is it that make you come to Bible study? What is it that make you have the adrenaline to keep moving even though you want to stop? Mm -hmm. What is it that make you keep coming to the musician's pit? Musicians, is it a paycheck? Well, singers, what is it that, 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 that make you keep coming and doing what you do every time you mount the choir law? Why are you still hanging on? I'm asking these questions because I, wanna, I really want to find out why are we here? Oh, Why are we here? Why are we still hanging on? Why, why haven't you threw in the towel by now? Mm, good. Why haven't you called it quits like some other folk? Oh, yeah. Why haven't you yet uh, uh, remained faithful? Why, why have you continued to come day after day, night after night? Why is it that you find yourself holding on to the horns of the altar? Oh my. Like Jacob, I won't let go, Lord, until you bless my soul. Why is it that every time the devil puts you in a broke place that God always gets you out? Why is it that you're holding on to seemingly have uh, something that has you wondering to what's going to happen next? <laughs> Well, simply because the Lord has allowed his powerful and anointed word to go forth mm -hmm. into the body of believers. And that's you that I believe that has God has helped us and propelled us and positioned us into this next move of God. Mm -hmm. That's why I said he strategically placing you and planting you in ministry because he knows he can depend on you. If you believe that God can depend on you, tell him, Lord, you can depend on me. Yes, it's just only one word from the Lord that will put me back in spiritual transit mode. Just one word, one word that will allow me to gain the faith that I need to hold on. It's just one word from the Lord will cause me to speak to whatever I'm going through in life and put the devil to flight. Yeah. Just one word. Can you just say one word? One word. <laughs> one word will allow me to have a glimpse of faith for my healing. It's one word. If anybody in here had ever came to the church and say, God, I've got to get a word today. I can't wait for tomorrow. I need that word now because I don't know what I'm getting ready to walk into. I don't know who I'm getting ready to run into. I need a word. And that one word, believe it or not, got you to come back the next week. Yes. That one word allowed you to look and see where you was and said that only God that gave me grace to keep on going. Only God that gave me the strength to hold on in spite of what it looked like, in spite of what it sounded like, in spite of what it very well may be. God was able to keep me from falling. Yeah. I wonder if I got a witness in the house that God will keep you. In spite of what the enemy would put in your way. But I, I believe that God has ordained and orchestrated us for this time. For such a time as this. This is a season in which God is allowing us to walk into something 
fresh, new, innovative. God is giving, giving, giving you something that you have never experienced. And it's amazing to me how God really deals with all of us. He deals with all of us on job training. Yeah. Yeah. On job training. No, nobody could really teach you what you got now. Uh -huh. Nobody could really, uh, th th there are some that will mention you, but there, nobody can really teach you about the road that you're getting ready to take right now. Uh, say that, say that. I wonder if I got anybody in here that's experienced going through some rough places in your life. Yeah. Nobody can tell you the journey that you're getting ready to take right now. The only thing that you know is that if I don't have the faith of God, I won't be able to make it. That's why we got to have God on the inside. We got to make sure that the enemy understands that you can't play with me because I'm no play toy. And you can't play with me because my salvation means so much more to me than what you really see right now. Yeah, yeah. Yes. That's the reason why it's so important to go. You've been hearing it all the time. Go to the next level. Go to the next dimension. Yes, we are going and we're going to continue to say it until we get there. Yes. Yeah. The reason why we have to say it, we've got to speak those things as though not as though they are. In other words, I don't feel it. I don't know what's going to happen, but I just believe that God is going to take me by my hand and he's going to give me direction. That's why it's so important to understand what God is doing in this day and time. Because it's not just enough to just have a CD out. It's not just enough to say that your names are on the charts. It's not just enough. Listen, those things will soon fade away. Oh, yeah. You see it now. One artist is up now. Everybody can't be at number one all the time. Say that. Every artist takes it time. Only God has control of times and seasons. Yes. And you need to understand that you've got to work while it's daytime. Yes. You've got to do everything you can while it's daytime. You can't wait on family members to, 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 to make you and tell you to do what you need to do. You know what God has commissioned you to do. You know what God has spoken in your heart to do. You can't allow the enemy to make you get mad and walk away from the church. Look at your neighbor and say you can't quit now. There's another level of intensity of this anointing that he's calling us to operate in. And because of this unprecedented uh, level that he has called us to, to, to do and to be used in, I believe likewise the devil has literally pulled the gloves and is in oh, playing dirty tricks. He's hitting below the belt. He's sucker hushing and, and kicking and biting and using illegal illegal choke holes. He's doing everything that he can to tear you down, to pull you down, to wear you down, to throw you down, to destroy you. The Bible said that the devil comes to kill, steal, and to destroy. But Jesus come that we might have what? And have it how? Abundantly. Furthermore, I must believe that as a result of this tumultuous, turbulent attack, there are many in the body of Christ who are becoming of the mindset of just throwing in the towel, just giving up. Well, quitting is not an option. Will my quitting bring glory to God? Absolutely not. God has a plan and a purpose for each of us. A good plan is usually the more we feel like quitting, the closer we are to a major part of that business plan that's coming together. The more the devil wants to try to make you quit, the closer you have that book finish. The more the devil wants to try to make you quit, the closer you have to, to, to you'll be able to finish getting your degree. Yes. Anything that you have started, you've got to know that the devil's job is to stop, block, destroy, and conceive plan that God has already started. Yes. Yes. The Bible says in Philippians.
Corinthians 1 and 6, being confident of this very thing, that he that hath begun a good work in you yeah. will perform it unto the day of Jesus Christ. Once God starts something, he's going to finish it. Yeah.